<clears throat> all right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Shalom to all you sincere hearted true believers, right? With today's lesson, you know, I want to go into, you know, a uh, couple of scriptures, but based off, like, you know, a conversation that I had earlier with somebody, and, you know, they were um, talking about, you know, the different heartbreak, like the heartbreak that they was going through, like, and, you know, uh, basically, you know, expressing like, you know, feelings of wanting to uh, want to give up, man. But ultimately, we can't be in that spirit, man, because, you know, giving up that 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 doesn't do anything for us, man. That's going to result in us, you know, uh, uh, ending up in destruction, man. Right. So we got to We got to I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab this scripture right here and start off right here through the spirit. Let's just grab it. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse uh, where I want to start at. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35, right? It says, uh, <clears throat> cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward, right? Because basically you want to give up. You're losing confidence that the Heavenly Father is going to deliver you out of whatever situation that you're in, right? And, and, and losing that confidence in the Heavenly Father is ultimately losing faith. And we can't, we can't, we, in this type of battle, in this battle, this spiritual battle, we cannot lose confidence in the Heavenly Father. We got to continue to pray for more faith, Right? And, and, and those particular times, we got to dig deeper. We got to pray harder. You know what I'm saying? Go on, go on a fast, right? Different things like that, man. Right? To show the Heavenly Father, hey, listen, please, I, I, I need you to deliver me out of this situation. King David did it. You had many, uh, many great men. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you telling me Daniel when he was in the lion's den, you think he wasn't praying out of that crazy shit? Uh, uh, cra uh, uh, that, I'm talking about. Dangerous situation that he was in a, lens, a, 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 den, a den full of lions, man. You telling me he wasn't throwing up prayers to the Heavenly Father, right? But ultimately, he had to go through that period of time where he was in that lion's den. He was a man too. You telling me he ain't feel no 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 butterflies in his stomach? But ultimately, what man? He had faith and trust that the Heavenly Father was going to deliver him. Our forefather Joseph, when he was lied on about the, uh, a woman saying that uh, 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 she she you know that he tried to rape her, right? And he had to take that bid and go to jail, right? You think he wasn't scared? You know, you think he wasn't like, you know, but but ultimately, right? He didn't allow that 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 um those those, those that, that 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 feeling to cause his faith to be overthrown, man. You see, he he remained faithful to the heavenly Father, and that caused the heavenly Father to deliver him, man. Right? The heavenly Father is going to reward you according to your confidence, your faith in him. All right, verse 36, it says, for ye have need of patience that after ye have done the will of the heavenly father, you might receive the promise. All right, so ultimately, this is not saying that even in this truth, you're not going to deal with different things like heartbreak and pain, mistrust and people doing you dirty and different things like that. It's not, that's not saying that, right? These are things that you're going to have to go through sometimes for, for you know, different, different, you know, uh, individuals, you know, we go through different things. Some some person might not go through uh, you know stuff uh, the same stuff that you're going through, but there is somebody else out there that did went through what you was going through. You see, right? And take confidence in the fact that when they went through it, ultimately what did they do? They they they, they cleave uh, uh, cleave harder unto the heavenly Father, and the heavenly Father got them up out of it, man. Right? Right? Because that it says that in Sirach the second chapter. Ultimately, when you're going through stuff, that's not the time to go uh, uh, get weaker. It's the time to dig deeper. Right? That's I like that. It's not the time to grow weaker. It's the time to dig deeper, right? So, Iraq 2 and verse 1, it says, My son, if thou come to serve her, I don't want to prepare thy soul for temptation. So, scriptures like these, right, are, are, are here to show you that when you come into this thing, you're going to be tested. You are going to be tried. It says in, in, in the book of Zechariah, the 13th chapter, right? It says the third, matter of fact, I'm going to grab it and I'm going to come back here because I want to finish that out. Right? Zechariah 13. And verse nine, right? So ultimately, you should be striving to be of the elect for the brothers, the hundred and forty-four thousand, and for the women, right? You should be striving to be of the um, the remnant, which is the one third, right? So that's that third part, right? Let me get it if uh, this thing loads up. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, Let's see, I want, Let's see, I want to try to hinder, but um, I'll go ahead and grab it in here, right? I don't want to rub his eyes. Still, lets me. Get it. Zechariah 13. Yep, beautiful. Zechariah 13 and verse uh verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Hadawan, two parts therein shall uh shall be cut off and die. Two thirds. You see, that's why, you know, you know, we, we refer to uh um, Jake in the world, you know, or non-believers, or you know, uh basically 
wicked wicked niggas man as two thirds right two parts therein right because if you had three parts two parts is what two thirds right as a, as a fraction and then also as a uh, as as a as a percentage is sixty six point six percent right and and, and the two thirds they're gonna receive the uh, uh uh the mark of the beast you see what I'm saying and and, and that number of the mark is six 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 you see right so it says. It says two parts shall be uh shall be uh cut off and die, and a third shall be left therein. So that third is the remnant, the elect, right? And I will bring the third part through the fire. So what is the heavenly father gonna do? He's gonna bring that third part, the elect, the remnant, through the fire. What type of fire? Right? The fire of adversity, which we're gonna when I go back to uh Sirach, the second chapter, it, it, it'll it'll explain. Right? So Sirach, uh, I don't want to write his eye. So it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. How do you refine silver? You put it through that heat, right? You put it through that heat, man. So all the different impurities, right? Because ultimately when you go through different trials and tribulations, it's to make you look inwardly, right? Like it says in Sirach, the 18th chapter, before judgment, examine thyself. So this is the time for you to be examining what do I need to do to get right so that way the heavenly father can bless me, man, right? That way the heavenly father can deliver me from this situation, man. Right? You want to be digging deeper. It says, I will refine them as silver is refined. I will try them as gold is tried. The same thing with gold. You got all that the, the dross and impurities on, on the gold. You, you, you just want that pure hunk of gold left, right? So you're going to put that gold through the fire, you know, heat it up a little bit, right? So that way it can change state. What's that? The Heavenly Father's changing us, refining us, right? So that way, ultimately, we, he could be left with just a, 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 a full a, a gold bar of just 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 precious metal gold you see it says they shall call on my name and i will hear them right so when you going through it call on the name of the heavenly father in the name of his son yahweh shy man right it says i will say it is my people and they shall say how i don't want yahweh is my power right so ultimately the heavenly father is going to hear us man right like it says in um Sirach, the 35th chapter if you serve in the heavenly father ultimately what he's going to hear you man but ultimately you got to be doing what he says so you got to be cleaning up your life man Right. As much as possible. Right. If you know it's things that you shouldn't be doing. Right. Remove those things from your life, man. You see, tighten up. We at the end of the race now. You see what I'm saying? Because ultimately, the Heavenly Father, he's going to allow Satan to, you know, try to come at us a little harder, especially with, uh, with us being here at the end. Right. To, to get us ready for Jacob's trouble, man. Right. So right. Thirty five and verse 16. It says he that serveth the uh Ha'adawan shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the, uh, unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble pierce of the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted but, uh, and will not depart. Until the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. So the point is, right, the Heavenly Father hears and accepts the prayers of the righteous, of those that are serving him and doing his will, Right. His prayers, your prayers, right? If you're sincerely serving Yahweh Yahweh in all truth and sincerity, you would know, right? You know if you're really sincerely serving, right? If you're giving your all, right? Ultimately, your prayer is going to be accepted with favor, man. And so say, all right, you know, the Heavenly Father going to say, say to Angel, all right, go ahead. Go ahead, do that, you know? Let me go ahead and, uh, and grab this. <clears throat> go back to Sirach, the second chapter. So it says, Sirach, uh, Sirach 2 and 1, my son, if thou come to serve out of one, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, your heart is your mind. It goes back to the Hebrew word lot, which means mind. And constantly endure. So whatever you get, whatever the Heavenly Father is putting on you, that means that you're able to bear it. Why is that? Because the Heavenly Father will not give you anything that you cannot bear, right? He's not, he's not going to uh, allow you to be tempted above what you're able to bear, right? Unless you're of the uh, uh, Salaki, unless you, you know... You destined for uh, destruction, you see. But ultimately, if you still got that spirit to believe and keep going, man, right? Which is a token that the Heavenly Father is still dealing with you, right? Because that's a gift in itself, the gift of faith. So if you have faith, like it says in John, um, what is it? John three and twenty seven. A man can receive nothing. Let me get it. Let me go ahead and grab it for y'all. So I'll quote it so that way y'all can actually see. John chapter three. In verse 27 right it says john answered and said a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven john 3 27 right so the point is if you still have the spirit of faith right which is a gift like it says in ephesians 2 and 8 right that means that the heavenly father is still dealing mercifully upon you right so that means that you still have a chance 
to keep going to keep pushing but if you fall out of it then you know you're done you see what i'm saying so if you still have spirit and life to keep pushing and keep keep driving forward the awesome that's the heavenly father bestowing that upon you because you don't have anything that the heavenly father hasn't given you you understand right that's what the scripture is saying so ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 right it says for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is a gift of the heavenly father so if you still have the faith to keep pushing on and keep fighting right then that means that the heavenly father gave you that right and then ultimately what if, as long as you continue in that enduring until the end i'm gonna go ahead and grab this for you right you can know that this applies to you then first thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 9 for the heavenly father have not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by Adawan Nava Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, right? It says for the for God, for the Heavenly Father chose to save us through our, yeah. So that's the point, man. He he hasn't appointed us to wrath to receive the destruction, like it says in the book of Sirach, uh, uh, that that all of these judgments and these evil uh, like these different plagues were made for the wicked, man, right? Not for the righteous. So if you have the faith to keep going, that's a clear uh, a token and a sign that the Heavenly Father is still dealing with you to a certain extent. Right now, whether you lose it beyond that is, is of course up to the heavenly father, but you got to keep pushing, man. Right, second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 1. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. So, Marita and an LT for you. Therefore, since the heavenly father and his mercy gave us this new way, what's this new way? Us putting on the, the, the new man, right? Continuing to press forward, not give up to be strong. And, and, and Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man, right? To keep to keep pressing forward in this ministry, right? Since he gave us this new way to put on this new man, right? We never give up. That's what the scriptures say, right? So you got to continue. So you got to continue in that, man, right? Let me go ahead and grab this uh, in, in the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6. It says, be confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So you have to have faith. That no matter what your situation is, right, that you're confident that the Heavenly Father is going to bring you up out of it because the scriptures say it, man. All the way into the day of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. What does that mean? Until we get up on them chariots, you got to have that confidence that the Heavenly Father is going to deliver you, man. Right? Easier said than done, but you still got to do it, man. Right? And if you lack in faith, then you got to pray for more faith, man. Right? That's what this thing is. Now, we have some good times. You know, we have some like some low points, man. Right. But you get back up and you keep pressing forward. That's the whole point, man. Right. Refining. Right. Making this better. We learn from these from these different low points, man. We learn from them. Right. And it makes us better. That's the whole point. That's the Heavenly Father putting it, put, putting this stuff on us, man. Right. Because if you see somebody that ain't never go through nothing and ain't never and just had an easy life their whole life, they ain't never experienced no pain. Right, no, no, no trials, no tribulations. That's a weak, that's a weak person. They don't know how to endure it unless something come upon them, right? They don't know how to take that. They, they, they don't know how to deal with that, right? But you, right? If you done been through many different trials and tribulations, the Heavenly Father done brought you through many different uh, uh things. Why lose faith in Him now? Why lose faith in Him now, right? Hell, like, like, like you ever, you ever came through for somebody? And then you like like all the time you ain't never you ain't never let them down, and then out of nowhere they like no nah, this too this too crazy for you to uh, uh uh for you to help me out with this, bro did I ever let you down before? Why you it kind of low key offends you it's like damn bro like is my word not good I said I got you are oh, you sure like what you mean I said yeah my word is good right you see my track record look at the heavenly father's track record for you man you still alive breathing. A lot of us done had near death experiences, right? You know, so 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 come on, man. You know, we gotta continue to keep believing and keep having faith, right? So Sirach so two, and I'm gonna um probably end off on this. Sirach so two and verse two uh two, it says, Set thy heart aright. So Hebrew word law, which means mind. So this is talking about your mind, not your fleshy uh beating heart. It says and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Why does it say constantly? Because you're gonna have to keep going through stuff, right? And so we get up out of here. That's 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 one of the punishments, right? Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last sense. So you got to have the faith that ultimately, whatever it is, you 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 cleave unto the heavenly father. I mean, you hold on tight. And a part of cleaving, praying, fasting, 
different things like that, man. You know, do more for the Heavenly Father. Do more work, right? That, and, and, and at the end of that, he's going to increase you. What, verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient with our change to a lowest state. If you're in a lowest state right now, be patient in it, man. I don't went through a, a, a bunch of lowest states, man. But ultimately, you know what you, I can I can attest that you got to be patient, so that way, you know, in, in due time, he's going to increase you, right? Verse five: For gold is tried in the fire. Just as we was talking about that in Zechariah thirteen, you you put gold in the fire, what to get off the impurities? And his, and the heavenly Father is liking our, uh, us in this walk unto gold being tried in the fire. For gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man. You want to be an acceptable man, right? Right? It says. In the furnace of adversity. So you got to go through adversity. What? To be an acceptable man. You see? And you got to endure through it. And and, 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 pro, and, and conquer conquer through it, man. But trust in the Heavenly Father to get you through. So I don't want to rock this. I'm going to go ahead and end off there. I don't want to rock this. I use sincere hearted true believers. We're edified, exhorted, and comforted. And I, I don't want to rock this. I just help somebody. Um, you know, because I know lessons like this was, like, good for me. When I was, like, because, like, when I was going through, like, different, like, things in the mind... Uh, lessons like this was like like I'm talking about like water a water in like a, in a dry place for me. You see what I'm saying? It, it, it was beautiful. It was like so. I I really hope that this helps somebody. I don't want to rather die. So all you uh, so all you sincere hearted true believers, shalom. Want to give all glory, honor, and praise unto my power, Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shalom.